How y'all doing? Uh, I staying in the weight room, uh, working on full body strength, um, working on my conditioning, uh, staying in the treatment room, uh, making sure I'm getting extra work every day so when the season comes around, I'll be ready. Going into your third year, I guess I'll just build off that. How has it changed for you at all from year one to year two? You know, you get put through the 16, 17 game ring, and you know, what kind of changes from you? How do you what do you learn from that? Uh, just get more comfortable, um, especially get more comfortable with the coaches, teammates. I'm um, going in our second year with the coaching staff, so get more comfortable with Deuce and um, just in the offense down peg, learning some new stuff, um, just bringing these guys together. I feel like we're going to be a lot better than last year, but um, just making sure I'm ready. How important is it for you to have that continuity, you know, in the room and then with the coaching staff, too? Say the first part one more time. Uh, just bringing guys back, like Deuce mm -hmm. and yeah. Dan and, like, the coaches and even the running back room coming back. Like, how big is that continuity? That's big. When you see familiar faces from last year, um, especially how we ended the season on a, um, a better note than when we started, um, looking to trickle that into this upcoming season. So I feel like we're going to the right foot. When you did the self-scout, what was the one thing that you targeted? It was like, man, that's one thing I really want to get better at or be better at, you know, going into my third season. That's a lot of stuff. I'm real critical on myself. Uh, I was watching tape the other day, like the first six games. I feel like I missed a lot of runs. Um, I always be more patient, fall forward, run behind my pads a little bit better, route run and be more crisp. A lot of little details and stuff that I could work on and take my game to the next level. Beyond the shoulder, um, they were very cautious with you early in camp last year. Like I said, stay in the weight room, um, stay in the training room, um, go out there and work hard. I'm, I'm looking forward to like backing out or anything like that. I'm going to work. Um, my groin fine, shoulder fine. I've been in the weight room, been in the training room, been working, been running routes. And I feel good. You and Jamal ever, and the other guys in that room ever talk about just what it would be to run behind that, that, that line if all those guys stay healthy yeah. and just how good they are. <laughs> I see you smiling. So is that a topic of conversation? Others are coming yeah, up? no, that crossed my mind at least once a day. Uh, <laughs> but no, having them out there healthy, man, that would mean the world. Um, getting Frank back and Dick back healthy. Um, Panay going into his second year, his confidence has been, been amazing since he's been in the building. So I feel like we're going to be good. If they, we can stay right up front, we'll be fine. Oh man, that's a blessing. Um, as a kid, I used to always watch that type of stuff, um, being around the game. But um, having an opportunity to have that, be a part of that, it's a blessing. Um, but it's still, it's still got to work. But it's gonna be cool to some look back on one day. Is there a way to help players build their brand, or what's, what's the, I don't know, what is the alert to that as a player? I guess. Uh, I mean, if you got a, um, if you like Jamal Williams, I'm sure you're pretty excited. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's cool though. I mean, uh, get the special personality and stuff like that. Cameras around all day, get to see how. How you are day to day, so it'd be cool. Had a camera around. Want to go back to the offensive line, second, I think you had 10, 11 guys, big more playing up in front of you last year. How long does it take you to kind of learn the, the blocking tricks they got in front of you? Does it make it hard for you when the, the lineup in front of you is changing all the time? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, like, we do a good job of getting each guys in and practice, so we kind of see it throughout the week. Um, you guys do a great job of just next man up mentality, so. They do a great job of that, so let's make our job easier when they handle their job up front. What have you thought about these offseason moves and like the type of players that you know the front office are bringing in? And kind of like you feel like they mesh with your personalities. You kind of see the direction that they're heading in. What you, what you think about the offseason moves so far? Uh, I feel like they've been great. Um, safety we just bought in. Um, dog uh, need them type of players, but um, I think they've been making a lot of moves. Anxious to see what we do in the draft. Um, I feel like definitely this offseason guys we've been bringing in definitely can help us a lot. So you want to take your game to the next level, hit over a thousand yards last year combined with running passing. So what what does the next level look like? Uh, playing in every game, um, I feel like I'm healthy. Um, the sky's the limit. Um, I know Deuce is gonna take me to that level. Uh, trust him. Um, you know, he trusts my ability. And, um, just the guys around to push me, push each other. Um, like I said, just little details and stuff like making my routes crisper, falling forward. It's a lot of hitting yardage out there when I look at the tape from last year. So. What do you do to, to ensure that you, you play all 17 games this year? Stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned Sean um, last and just his, his draft day memory, and he said it was you know, disappointing because of where he was drafted. I don't know if you thought you played your own on one, felt the Lions wanted to. What's your draft day memory, and, and is there a lesson that you can you know, share with other guys about you know, what happened to you on draft day? I mean, it's a pride in you. Uh, you're going to be upset. When you're hearing first round, that's all you're hearing, and you fall. It's like, 
but then at the end of the day, it's a blessing once you get a phone call, all that go out the window. So, it's a blessing just to get drafted. Jamar probably didn't have the rookie year he won last year, and when he got 15 carries, had to show some patience. What have you seen from him back in the building in terms of, of attitude and approach? Good, a lot. Um, I was talking to him the other day, he's done a, a lot uh, out in college when he was training and he got a little, got a little bigger. Um, it looks better. Um, his confidence is up, like I said, second on the second year. Him, Panay, all of the second year guys I've seen in the building, been real good. All right, thanks, Andre.